I worked on Lunchabuild, so I, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, knew yeah. how to mod like everything in Brawl. Yeah, I know Max went to the UNT uh, meetings and Did then he like bring a copy yeah, of it or whatever. Yeah. Well, he had it in his wallet, and then he was playing. Yeah. He, and it, it never ended up getting getting finished. So like, there might be like random builds of it like floating around, but like the I, the, the build that I have of it is like it's like eighty percent done. Mm -hmm. But there, there's still some balance changes that like I wasn't sure about or like they were incomplete and stuff like that. Yeah. Shout out so, to Umbreon. We miss yeah. you. He's uh, a neat guy. Yeah. He's traveling right now. Yeah, he's in Alaska right now. Yeah. He I went to Alaska and he had like negative like two dollars in his bank account and uh and had like nothing to his name. He just kinda went to Alaska. Yeah. There's a, there's a story behind it, but it's really funny. He just <laughs> ended up being more or less stranded in Alaska and he had to at like like message Ian to get Ian's friends to pick him up from the airport because he just ended up at the airport and he's like, Alright, now now <laughs> now what do I do? <laughs> he's like, Oh, oh shit. But we have Troy versus American Bowser. A uh, really close game between Oracle and them. I so Troy last week uh, raging a little because he lost to American Bowser. He's lost to him. Did you say raging a little? Like, yeah, did, did he like ran out of the back of the venue and like came back. His hair is all messed up, and then he challenged American Bowser to I think a ten dollar money match afterwards, uh, losing to American Bowser two weeks in a row in this exact matchup. I think Troy's. I, I've said this uh, multiple uh, weeks in a row. I think Troy's decision making when it comes to item usage uh, during tech chase and edge guarding, uh, slight like could use work or yeah, it could use work. There are certain times where he will decide. Oh my god! Just, <laughs> <laughs> just oh regrab off of back throw. He's so big. Uh, but there are certain moments where his decisions on grabbing items, uh, it's just not as clean and pristine as what we see from Luck. Where yeah, Troy can play clean, but um, I feel like all the Squander Squad guys, as a, you know, akin to their name, squandering, um, mm -hmm. they, they they all definitely have a little bit of uh, nerves going on every once in a while. Yeah. But Troy playing that slower play style of uh, Diddy Kong, something that more Junebug esque, but Junebug. Yeah. I mean, Jun Junebug, Junebug in my like. Okay, actually, something that's really triggered me as of late is that. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, the tissue box. Oh my god. <laughs> and he's still gonna make it. Yeah. Something that's kind of triggered me is that now that like Junebug like more or less retired, like he technically like didn't really, but he basically did. Mm -hmm. um, Going to melee, right? Uh, he's playing melee at the moment. His like official statement is that like he'll play PM if it's like at a melee tournament, but he doesn't actively like seek PM anymore. Yeah. So he's it's not really like his thing. Um, uh, anyways, like now that June's been playing less and like before June, like quote unquote quit, uh, like his reign wasn't as dominant because he still like plays top eights and stuff like that. But like he lost like Sosa at Evo and like Fifth at Olympus. Yeah. People have been starting to sleep on Diddy Kong, and it's really triggering me because just because a specific player is less active in the game, it doesn't mean the character itself is worse. Yeah. Diddy Kong's still an insane character. I think uh, a lot of people need to start picking up their punish games in certain regards when playing Diddy Kong because it's not as strong as what you would see from like Junebug. Mm -hmm. I feel like luck, luck being pretty close to it, uh, but there are a lot of times where it's not straight instances of zero to death. He has to win yeah, neutral will, like two or three luck times. Luck side B's Jake, stock. and then he just, he just does Diddy Kong until Bowser dies, basically. Yeah. Um, oh, just calling out the dash dance. Just calling out space. Oh, that could have been rough, but... American Bowser could have died there if Troy had released that like a hair earlier. Yeah, it put it would have been a pretty decent trade still having yeah. that stock lead. Yeah. Ooh. But with the dash chance that Troy's going with his playstyle. Oh. Oh that was actually so smart. That was really smart. He waved he, he uh he glide tossed back and put the banana in front of him. So literally any of American Bowser's approaches, unless they were straight up wave dash, which why is Bowser gonna run across screen and wave dash at you? Like all of those were covered. Mm -hmm. It was actually really smart. Did you see, it was on the PM subreddit, the start of Diddy Kong's Foxtrot immediately raises Diddy Kong's hurt box so yeah. he can just dash over Diddy, banana. Diddy has a few moves, like specifically his dash and his up smash just go over moves. Like Diddy Kong is up smashed and I've Roy down tilted and he actually just hops over it. Yeah. Like straight up just like punishes me for down tilting because he teleports upwards. Um. I don't know if you faced it, but Sheik's forward tilt, if you try to down tilt the leg, it will just like go straight through it. I don't know. That's. that's oh, Sheik, Sheik, interestingly, if we're speaking about random hitbox conversion. 
uh, Sheik's down throw. If a Diddy Kong banana is like on a battlefield platform above Sheik and she down throws, technically when she like takes her leg, she like swings it all the way around and then slams it onto you. Her leg goes up and hits the platform and she trips when the banana's on, oh above the platform. Oh my goodness. So she will down throw you and then the banana is on top and she just- And the ECB just like yeah. makes contact. That's so sad. It's hilarious. Diddy Kong's banana is stupid. Yeah. All right, so that going out to, I think, American Bowser. They're going to, yeah, Delfinos and FD. That's a pretty good pick. Yeah. Uh, American Bowser banning those two stages last time. Wouldn't be surprised if they went to Smashville once again, but. All right. Um. Jake has definitely had some random points where he's just dash attacked or dash grabbed at Troy. So uh, yeah, definitely would be good for him to kind of respect that threat zone. Um, I, I feel like melee MPM players like they like play so subconsciously and by muscle memory they don't really notice it. But like you definitely have to pay attention to threat zones. Yeah, I think it's way more uh, relevant. Like after after playing Smash Four where the movement's less extreme, like threat zones are very obvious because it's like characters can't spam like movement to disguise where the threat zone. It's like this is the area that I threaten. Yeah, you need to respect this and like. And, like, like that, that's something you need to, uh, like, take note of immediately, oh especially if you're playing, like, an uncomfortable matchup to you. Uh, they can't even immediately adjust what where their threat zone is either, yeah. even with such advanced movement. Or without... Yeah, t movement. technically, they, they can't change the distance of the actual move itself. Yeah. So, so like... Ooh. Yeah. So if he's going to start dash attacking or dash grabbing at you, like, that, that's still a range you have to understand and respect. Yeah. American Bowser also... Really liking to implement dash attack when going towards banana, just to knock the banana up so the armor just yeah, doesn't take the slip. It's nice. Oh, oh, rough. Yeah, really expecting for that air dodge to allow American Bowser just to grab ledge. Very smart to throw the banana down. I think he was aiming, uh, hopefully trying to snag onto the giant hurt box that American Bowser has. Yeah, like, like you see, like, Troy's just kind of been sitting in the corner, and as he, like, collectively, like, dash dances in place or, like, pulls a banana or whatever, Bowser just runs in, and yeah. he's gotten tons of dash attacks or dash grabs. He, or, like, sometimes he'll just run up and, like, down smash or up smash or whatever. Like, yeah. he just threatens that, like, immediate dash in space. Yeah, he's doing really good with the dash back and just managing this banana just to make sure that he can... Managing just that small space or space yeah. that he's putting himself in. Yeah, like there's positions where like, uh, you just saw it there, America Bowser didn't capitalize too well, but like Troy is like under the left side of the platform at, while he's pulling a banana. And it's like, he doesn't really have the stage position to pull the banana. So America Bowser just ran straight at him and like, yeah. and, like was now straight in front of him. Back throw? You have to be really conscious of like where you can and can't pull the items, which is real. I, I learned the hard way from playing Toon Link. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And still a a slight lead coming out from American Bowser. Just really curious if how he's going to pull this extra credit. Yeah, he can't go for such high uh, risk moves. Trying to nair the banana out of the way and just getting forward aired for it. Oh, press B to edge guard. <laughs> yeah, the use of fire breath from Bowser is a very strong tool. If your character has a linear enough recovery or you force them to like specific recovery options, neutral B is unbeatable. <laughs> yeah. Like, if Ox is to up B from below, he. <laughs> you just press the B button. Yeah. And it's such a stronger fire breath than something like Charizard. Uh, getting those, I think, harder oh, hitting. Is that going to kill off the oh, top? Oh, that would have been. I, oh, my God. I, I, he tried, oh, he just my goodness. Off he like worked twice. off of it. Yeah. Okay. Shout outs to the Austin strat. Austin, sometimes you get rid of bananas. You know how, like, when the banana trips or whatever, it, like, moves away from you? Mm -hmm. Austin would, like, keep get up rolling into the banana and just, like, slowly <laughs> walk it off the stage because Austin's just a big fucking dope. Is this in Smash 4 or PM? PM. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I've definitely seen him just roll into the banana three times and nobody knows what's going on. Like, his opponent's like, oh, oh wow, yeah. Diddy Kong forward smash, not the most reliable uh, yeah. move to link with. Pretty easy to SDI out of. Even in between 3.5 and 3.6, they like got rid of a frame in between the hits and like changed the knockback or whatever to link mm. better, but it's still, still a little iffy. Multi-hit moves in general not being the best. This platform movement from American Bowser, even with Bowser, yeah, ooh, he, calling le he legitimately just ran and just like up smashed. <laughs> yeah, and that's something that he has been doing recently. Seeing that Troy's been either setting up or going for this dash dance, he just calls it out with a straight up aerial or, or straight up move. Oh. That's going to be it. 
Troy respecting the win now. Uh, was this pop off more fierce, or like was it immediate last time? It wasn't on stream, but all I remember is that that back door was open. He just ran out, and then he came back in, and he's he was playing against and they're.